Actually, this is my first time to participate to SNRD Africa. And when I come to such a long mile, my expectation is, you know, first to learn more about what is uh, going on in the sphere of, you know, or, or development uh, initiatives implemented by GIZ, especially in Africa. And from the, that exchange to take all the lessons and uh, contextualize to the to the context of Ethiopia, and that is my takeaway. So exchange and like hospitation, you know, I because I'm working in a project of value chain and value chain, you know, perspective it has been before and still it's being implemented. And this value chain approach is, you know, specific to one commodity. So for each and every commodity, you know, there is a value chain approach that will, you know, put people into different silos. But from here, what I'm very keen and, you know, uh, the, especially the uh, agriculture food system, it's very holistic and comprehensive approach that brings, you know, all disciplines, all the agriculture, the value chain, the actors, stakeholders, you know, the, the value link and all the ladder all together. And from that point of view, it's a, a, a good concept and a new concept. And there it gives me a chance to learn more about what is the uh, orientation in that regard to, to, to this topic and what's all about the concept behind and the principles and how the way forward it will look like through the implementation of the comp you know, uh, concept by different, you know, elementers. So from that perspective, uh, that is a beneficial uh, point I get, especially the agriculture and food system. This concept, you know, will get out of the uh, business as usual, you know, scenario, rather to think and rethink and based on the past lesson to transform to the new way of thinking and to the new way of approach to, uh, you know, fulfill the requirement of food, which is every human and the humanity and, you know, every creature demand. So food system transformation concepts and also the uh, integrated solutions. These concepts are very paramount for me and that is uh, uh, the, big, uh, the biggest element from the food system concept mm -hmm. which is I found it very important and to contact contextualized to our country's so, so condition when I'm back to my homeland. I think in the case of Ethiopia, we are as in a business in to the usual scenario, while we are facing all this, you know, the climate change and trends condition which affect, you know, the food production and the food supply chain, including the conflict. So that's where we are struggling, you know, with all this condition and with the business to, to the, as usual, you know, uh, approach, you know, we are struggling to fulfill the uh, demand of, you know, people in terms of food whatsoever. So what a new, what I can add to my team members is that there should be an integrated solutions and also a holistic approach and a food transformation concept has to come in place so that we cannot repeat the same thing again that we have did it before uh, because in the case of Ethiopia the population growth is getting higher and higher we are reaching to 120 million probably and uh, unless such a transformation in the food, you know, systems and then trans the, 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 the set of mind change is not in place. There is, we will face a challenge, you know, uh, to supply the food to the people there. So, to my point of view, I will contribute one, somehow this concept, then 
the integrated solution has to come on board and a transformative way of thinking and the transformative way of approach and implementation in the food system has to be injected in place so that the demand and supply will come to the equilibrium. Otherwise, this imbalance, with this imbalance of condition with the food and with the food supply vis-a-vis -vis to the population grows, we are doing, if we are going to do things the same as it is before, then still we are in a big trouble. So that is how I, I can show the case to my team members and the colleagues at least. If you had a magic wand, what would you do? Where would you throw all the resources of, of your project? I have a magic wand. Just giving simple a simple example to you. For example, in Ethiopia, we are you know the larger soybean producer in East Africa, and I would say soybean is mostly a commodity which is exported to Asia, highly likely, and to China, more specifically. And nothing is left in, in Ethiopia to be consumed there by the local people. Whereas the local community we are still facing a shortage of protein source because the animal products are getting very expensive these days. And we have a less culture of utilizing soya bean, you know, as food and different recipe and the ingredients for us. So my magic of interest will be drastically to go to the soya bean value chain and to the soya bean, you know, to uh, uh, just integrate to the food system concept and teach people, inform people how to produce it, apart from that, not only for production for export, rather also production for household consumption, for children, for mothers, and for all the population. That will transform, you know, our, you know, feeding habit in a way which, which we currently are, you know, highly dependent on cereal crop, but rather if soya bean is integrated in our food system, the protein supply will go up to the significant amount where that, this, this magic concept is I'm looking forward to work on and if the investment comes to invest there.